Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 18th to the 24th. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get an overall energy here with this deck. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, what do we have for Capricorn? the hangman so the hangman is thinking about things a new perspective is needing you may be struggling you may be struggling with something when you get the hangman it means you must struggle through a change or seeing things differently this is surrender let it go learning some sort of lesson taking a time out thinking about everything that has happened um, going within, wasting time even, you know, you could be, you know, sacrificing yourself needlessly. You may need to let go of, you do need to let go of something. And maybe, you know, you just, you're, you're thinking, 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 and you're struggling. Now, this could also be another person's energy. You could be dealing with somebody that is thinking a lot. They're thinking about everything that has happened and they're struggling to let go. This is a struggle and a new perspective is needed. Okay, so that is what is going on right now. That is your overall energy, struggling to let go. And it looks like, you know, somebody could die holding a grudge. You know, you notice this person may have died waiting for something. You know, don't waste your time holding on to something, you know, just to prove a point. You know, a new perspective is needed. You should be living you know, you should be living your life. Don't waste your time holding on to something that is meaningless. You're probably overanalyzing things, trying to prove something. There's nothing left to prove. There's nothing left to prove. Just let it go. I mean, you don't want to, you don't want to hold on to this situation for the rest of your life. So there's something you need to let go. Could be dealing with Pisces. Doesn't have to be. This could be your energy. You know, obviously it is. You're struggling to let go of something. And you you know, you want to die holding on to this? Trying to prove something? You know, when you get the hangman, it's like, I'm going to punish. That's about punishment. You know, this is a martyr. That's not going to get you anywhere. diamond you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift desk pay attention to your work pay attention to your work this this week and you will be receiving or giving somebody a gift somebody may be giving you a gift or you may be giving somebody a gift it's one or the other This is a new perspective will be needed this week. Maybe you have to give somebody a gift. Maybe you need to consider it a gift. If you just look at it from a different perspective, maybe it's a gift. I consider it a gift. What do we have for Capricorn? Judgment. So making a judgment call. Accepting the truth. So judgment is about the truth. It's a card of absolution. It is the end of things. It is also a card of karma. So this is, this is karma. It's truths being revealed. It's acceptance. It's forgiving. It's realizing something. It's getting in a, it's like realizing the truth. It's, 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 it's an epiphany. It's an awakening. Making a life-changing decision based on the truth, based on the facts. 
So you may be making a life-changing decision this week. I feel like you're going to be thinking about it a lot. There's a lot of stubbornness here. The hangman is a card of stubbornness and it is a card of ego. It's also a card of punishment and trying to prove a point. The judgment card is a card of absolution. It is the end of things. It's making a judgment call based on the facts. So you're going to be making a judgment call based on the facts. Do not let your ego or pride, because this is extreme pride, get in the way of your decision. Okay? This is a decision. Somebody is making a life-changing decision. This is the end of things. It's a profound life change when judgment comes. This is accepting something. You're going to be needing to accept something and let go of your need to hang on. You got to let go of something because hey man is all about letting go. It's not easy when, when you got this mindset that it has to be a certain way. You're going to have to change your mindset. Two of Wands. This is the decision. Okay? You're going to have to be make. You're going to... And this is in the past, though. This is a decision. So this is indecisiveness. This is, this is uh, options. You know? Deciding to stay or deciding to go. Detaching. Detaching from something. There's a lack of contentment. I think that you've been in a space where there's been, where there's been a lack of contentment. There's been, uh, things have been postponed. Somebody could be suddenly leaving. You know, they could be suddenly leaving. And, you know, there's, there's some sort of, it's difficult. It's very, very difficult. Um, because somebody is at the, at that role, at that point where they're making a decision whether they want to stay or they want to go. And it's like, what I, it's time to go. It's time to go. And I feel like there's been a lot of indecisiveness here. You know, somebody's been, they know it's time to go, but it's been having a hard time letting go having a hard time letting go of something. Now it's time to make the decision. It's decision time. Judgment is definitely the end. It's decision time. Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords is lack of communication, miscommunication, dishonesty, a loss of power, wanting, you know, and the, the hangman is about wanting to have the power. You may have to let go of the power. You know, this is a lack of communication, a loss of power, dishonesty, not being honest with oneself, n refusing to take a new approach, not seeing things clearly. Two of Swords. Now, Two of Swords is really overwhelmed. This is information overload. Somebody may have received some bad news, okay, or they received some information that uh, stung them. It feels like it hurts. You know, it cuts like a knife. This hurts. I feel like it's overwhelming with this Two of Swords. This is like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. You know, I can't believe this is happening. So I feel like you're going to receive some information. I feel like it's something that you don't want to hear. I feel like it has to do with some sort of partnership that you are engaged with because we have these twos. You need to have faith and trust. Twos are about faith and trust. You need to have faith and trust in whatever decision is being made. I feel like you, you need to be honest with yourself. And if you have to, um, you know, surrender and let go of your ego or your pride, then so be it. Anyhow, the Two of Swords is really, really, really struggling. Um, this is a painful, stressful decision. So I think that you're going to be making a painful, stressful decision as to whether, you know, this has to do with some sort of departure. It does. It has to do with the departure. I feel like you're you're really going to be hearing lots of things, pe maybe from other people. You know, you're, this is definitely information overload. you got to be careful who you listen to because I think there's going to be all kinds of people giving you information that, you know, isn't valid. I feel like if you look at these people, they're like saying things that... Uh, 
you know, it looks like they're just, they're saying things out of spite. You know what I mean? These people are angry or they're trying to cause you to overreact. I do feel like you're going to have people that are going to push your buttons this week. They're going to try to, um, what's the word for it? Push your buttons to see how you react. You know what I mean? They they, they like the show that you put on. So somebody's going to, you got at least three people here that are going to do something to cause chaos in your life. So be careful. Be careful. These people are not your friends, but they are willing to give you advice to to see the show, to see the show that you put on. So I feel like you definitely, you have some dishonest people around you that you need to be careful. You need to be careful of because you will be judged. You will be judged by your actions this week. You could even, somebody could even end up in court, you know, they, and this is like prison, it's jail. It, can't, it could be. It could be, absolutely. Somebody could end up in jail if they overreact. Um, anyhow, I feel like there's a need to uh, really pay attention to your actions this week. You're going to be overwhelmed with some sort of information that you receive. And I feel like you're just going to, I feel like you need to go within. I feel like you need to go within and take a step back to think about you know what you want not what other people want think what's best for you okay so really take that into consideration um we got this two of swords here which is from darkness to light from conflict to balance um it's like the truth is in within reach but you you um you have to, you have to grab it. You have to, it, there's lack of, it's like not wanting to see the truth or not wanting to accept the truth, but this is seeing the truth and knowing the truth. You know, you may not want to honor the truth and you may be overwhelmed because we got truth versus lack of truth. You're really going to be struggling. And this is the struggle. You're going to be struggling with accepting the truth because of power and control and pride. So there is power control and pride issues here there's some sort of truthful information that is coming out that is going to overwhelm you and you know you may want to hold on to that power and you may need to let go of the power it's really hard to explain but i see it very clearly you may not see it very clearly but i do so i you know i feel like this is going to be a very it's going to be a week of struggling um to let go of the power that you have held on to so tightly, you know. Um, King of Cups. Now this is follow your heart. Act out of act out of love. Okay, this is about love. Okay, it's it's all about love. You wanna you wanna react in, with love. Okay. Now now you need to. Um, really go within and use your intuition and uh, follow your heart. It's it's all about love. It's about kindness. It's about um, emotional support. I feel like you need to use your heart. Um, I I feel as though you. Uh, I'm sorry, my phone is ringing and it's bothering me. There is somebody here that has good intentions, okay, with the King of Cups. This, is, this person has very, very, very good intentions. And I feel like they have a lot of love. Maybe they have a lot of love for you or they have a lot of love for for somebody. There's a lot of love here with the King of Cups. Um... And I think that you're you're gonna you may not see it. You may not see it. There's lack of of uh with the ace of swords reverse and the two of swords right there, there's there's not seeing the love. You really need to open your heart and see that there is a huge opportunity for love here. It's all about love. I do feel like there's there's gonna be a lot of feelings here. There's gonna be expressed feelings. I think it's gonna be difficult. I think that there's gonna it's gonna be an emotional week for you. Um the King of Cups is a giver. The King of Cups uh reacts out of love. So there's gonna be a love reaction here of some sort. Um Page of Cups reversed. The Devil reversed. Now this is breaking free. Breaking free from the ego. Breaking free from the addiction. This is uh, this freedom. 
in the page of cups reversed is definitely bad news i think you may receive be receiving some bad news or some sad news or somebody's bubble may be burst you know somebody may get their bubble burst they may have been naive they may have tied themselves to a toxic situation now they're being broken free this is freedom you know, this is freedom, the devil reverse. You, somebody needs to break free from a toxic situation. And it's ego. It's ego. It's, this is letting go of ego or things will get worse. Okay? This is suffering. It's despair. It's a deep, dark place. There's, there's, there's uh, a very controlling energy here. Somebody needs to let go of their need to control. A decision is being made. And it may not be, um, it's not an easy one. It's not an easy decision. That's for darn sure. It's letting something go. It is letting something go. You're going to be letting something go that you have been tied to. You're breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation where there's been a lack of love. You know? There's an unrequited love situation here where there's been a lack of love. And love is what matters. We may have a child here that needs love. And I'm not sure if it's a child or if it's a person. This child or whoever it is needs love more than power and control. I mean, love is the most important thing here. There's, a, there's unrequited love. Love heals all wounds. You know, I don't know if it's a child or who it is, but this page of, the page of cups reversed is, you know, somebody that is, is obsessed. This is somebody that is obsessed. They are obsessed with, with uh, themselves. This is somebody with a self-image problem. I feel like there's going there could be some tears shed this week. There could definitely could be definitely an emotional week as some sort of truth is revealed because judgment is a card of truth, absolution, the end of things. You are breaking free. Somebody is. Somebody is breaking free from something and it does have to do with ego. It has to do with ego. It has to do with somebody's been holding on to something trying to prove a point. You know, because of pride, because of ego, that's coming to an end. The decision is being made. After there's been some level of indecision, now the decision is being made. This is freedom from unhealthy behavior. Freedom from toxic behavior. Freedom from slavery. Freedom from change that have held somebody back. This is breaking free. And if you don't, and if things don't get broken free, they only get worse. So yeah, I feel like this is a week where a painful, stressful decision is made to let go. Of an unrequited love situation. So that love can arrive, right? So that love can be there. So that love can happen. The only way that love can happen is if you let go of the unrequited love situation where there is no love. You know, you have to let love prosper, right? Anyhow, this is the need to break free and go down a new path. So somebody is breaking free and they are going down a new path. The decision is being made. It's a final decision. It's overwhelming. It's a shock. It is definitely a shock. I feel like it's going to be very, very, very emotional. This fool is starting with a clean slate, starting a new chapter, stepping into unknown territory. This is exciting. This is an exciting opportunity to start someplace else. 
So somebody is, is stepping into unknown territory. They are about to take a journey, go someplace that they have never been and start over. This is a new beginning. So there is a new beginning here where somebody is, you know, I don't know if they're traveling or they're moving, leaving everything behind and just starting with a clean slate. This is a very exciting, fresh start where the past is left behind. So yeah, we have a new beginning here. This is starting from scratch. Starting with a clean slate. Starting a new journey. Freedom. Freedom. And this is freedom as well. So we have freedom here. This is, this is breaking free from a toxic, unhealthy situation and starting from scratch. This is having no worries. Doing it with blind faith. Taking a risk, giving it a chance, acting on impulse, and letting go of that old mentality that you have to hang on to what was. So Capricorn, I feel like this is a brand new beginning where you're free. You're free. Good luck.